Before we start, I just want to let you know that there are many videos here on the channel about the Supernode itself and many others about using Obsidian on the Supernode. All the links in the description below. Okay, let's take a look at how this works. When you first install Obsidian on your Supernode, you end up in a page similar to this one here, not this one, this one here. Okay, this is where you end up with the option to create a vault. But <laughs> this is not how you create a vault. If you click here, there's no way to create a vault, okay? I see some problems here. First, let's remove this ghosting here. First, this all black background doesn't help, but this labels here, they can be misleading because you tend to tap create, and, and I've been there too. But what you have to do first is choose where to create that vault. And if you select that option, you end up in a page more like this one here where you can see all your Supernode folders. I said, if you don't arrive here, just tap this menu here. And since we're talking about this options here, you can see that you can go to the Supernode uh, file structure, uh, the one inside the device, or you can choose disk. And this is where I created my vaults. You can see that there is a Obsidian a folder here. But if you don't have a disk on your Supernode, you can go back here and select the Supernode, and then you see all the folders. I usually create my Obsidian Vault folders inside the documents, the Android documents folder. Remember that under the hood, the Supernode is an Android, uh, it runs Android. And I usually create here a folder that I title Obsidian. To do that, just tap here and give it a name. In my case, again, it's already here. And this is where I create all my vaults. You don't have to do this. I just think this is keep things more organized because I know that all the vaults will be inside uh, Obsidian. So what we are doing is tapping here and all the way down here, use this folder. Hello. And now we are back to that page. And again, <laughs> you may think that if we tap create, we'll be able to create a vault, but no, there's one more step. And I think that's because you don't see it because again, the, the black background here, here it is, create a vault name. So we have to give the vault a name. So in this case, let's call this vault, for example, super note, okay? You can give it, whatever name you want. So the vault supernote will be created inside that folder Obsidian. So now we can tap here and create. If you like this video, you may want to take a look at this other ones here about Obsidian and the supernote. And if this was helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.